Have you ever wondered how many hours of light do my seedlings need to thrive? Well, welcome back to the Mind and Soil Test Garden. And in today's video, I ran an experiment where I started four sets of seeds with four different amounts of light. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all the results in terms of germination and overall growth. And as a result of this experiment, I'm changing the number of hours I'm running my grow lights for this season. So to begin diving in, let me walk you through how I set this experiment up. About two months ago, I took four trays and put 15 seed cells into each of them. All the seed cells were identical at three inches in size. Then I filled all the seed cells up with my seedling mix that I used to start all my seeds in. Next, I slightly compacted the soil so every seed cell was at the exact same depth. And from there, I started to put the seeds into each environment. And we're testing four different seeds in this experiment. Arugula, broccoli, tomatoes, and peppers. Every seed cell received four seeds, which means there's a total of 12 seeds in each grow light environment. And after that, I simply covered them with a little bit more seedling mix and then gave them a nice big drink of water. And while the water was soaking in, I prepared the seed starting station. I adjusted the racks so every tray would be the exact same distance from the grow lights. And speaking of that, all four environments will receive three four foot Monios LED grow light strips. And this is the exact setup I used last year when starting all of my seeds. So every variable up until now has been the exact same. The only difference is going to be the number of hours of light they receive. So to set that up, I bought a bunch of automatic timers. And for environment number one, I programmed it to turn on at eight in the morning and turn off at 2 p.m for six hours of light. For environment number two, I programmed it to run for 12 hours. For environment three, 18 hours of light per day. And for environment number four, I plugged it directly into the wall, turned it on, so it's running for 24 hours per day. And then to officially kick off the experiment, I placed each tray of seed cells under the respective grow lights and let the rest take care of itself. Now, let's fast forward 14 days for the first check-in on germination results. So it is now 14 days since we started all of these seeds. And as you can see, we've got some pretty incredible germination on our hands. So we're gonna go through all the results for all four environments in just a second. But just before we do that, if you're enjoying this video, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss any of the future experiments that I'm gonna be launching. So to begin diving in, let's take a look at how the arugula did in all four environments. So getting started with the six hour our environment, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All 12 germinated in environment number one. That's as good as it gets. Let's move on to the 12 hour environment, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of the 12, so 75% germination rate. Now moving on to environment number three where we had 18 hours of light. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 once again. And as we can see, we're also starting to see some differences in growth, which we're of course gonna to touch on later in this video. Now the last environment for the arugula was 24 hours per day of light. And as we can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 of the 12 that have germinated under 24 hours of light. So honestly, pretty consistent all across the board. Definitely not one that was far above the other, but let's now move on to our next plant in the environment, which are our broccoli seedlings. Okay, these guys are having a tough go. These are some of the leggiest seedlings I've ever seen. And like across the board in all environments, but especially in the six hour and 12 hour environment. So to begin diving into germination rates, let's start with the six hour environment. And on that one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of the 12 have germinated and are growing. But honestly, they are in like such rough leggy shape that I don't think any of these would actually even develop into broccoli plants. Let's move on to the 12 hour environment. And here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine as well. So these ones, exact same germination. Moving on to the 18 hour environment. And here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So nine as well in this environment. And here they have certainly put on even more growth, but even still like they're looking fairly leggy. And that gets me a little bit curious about the grow lights that I've been utilizing. Maybe I should do another experiment where I just test out a whole bunch of grow lights. Stay tuned for that one. Let's move on to our final environment here. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 that have germinated and started to grow. So across the board, once again, very consistent in terms of germination rate, but now let's move on to our third set of plants and that is our tomato seedlings. And with these, I'm loving what we're seeing. Honestly, this all looks really, really good. So getting started with our environment number one, which was six hours of light, how many germinated? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 11 out of 12, you gotta be happy with that. Moving on to environment number two, 12 hours of light. And here we've got one, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, 10, 10 11, 12. 12. 12. All 12 have germinated. We've got some nice initial growth on the plants. They're not looking leggy. I'm loving what we're seeing there. Moving on to environment number three, 18 hours per day. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 as well. And also looking really happy, really healthy. Love where we're at on that one. Now moving on to environment number four, 24 hours per day. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So really cool, very similar to the Arela where we've had great germination and seeing much more growth in kind of like the 12, 18 and 24 range than the six hour range. So let's pop these back onto the shelf and get to our final vegetable for today, the peppers. So to begin diving in with environment number one, six hours of light, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 for 12, that is super, super strong for peppers. Moving on to environment number two, 12 hours light per day. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 out of the 12. And we are starting to see the first little true leaves beginning to emerge as well. We're in a great place with those. Moving on to 18 hours per day. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine out of the 12, a little bit lower, but again, kind of in that same range of nine to 12 that we've been seeing for every single one that we've done so far. And last but not least, 24 hours per day. What we can see here is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a little bit lower, but still a really solid germination on that front. So my three takeaways from the first half of this experiment are first, germination is consistent regardless of the number of hours of light that the seedlings receive. Second, when you do get to 18 hours and 24 hours of light, the seedling mix was drying up a little bit quicker. So you're going to want to water a little bit more if you're running your grow lights for a longer period of time. And third, my hypothesis is that the 24 hours of light per day is going to be too much for these ones, but that is exactly what we're gonna be figuring out over the second portion of this experiment. So let's now fast forward a few weeks for our final check-in. Okay, it is 30 days since we started this experiment. And as you can see, we've had some amazing growth and some really interesting results. I'm really looking forward to going through the final results of this experiment today. Now, just before we do that, if you are wanting to have your best gardening season ever, then I absolutely encourage you to check out my online gardening mentorship, Grounded. As a mentee, I'm gonna guide you through the entire gardening season. You'll have access to live lessons with me, live support calls with me to get all your questions answered, on-demand video growing guys that take you through step-by-step -step how to grow different crops, and a private community of like-minded individuals where we share all of our flops and failures and successes along the way. My promise to you as a mentee is that you'll have not only your most productive gardening season ever, but also your most enjoyable gardening season. So if that sounds like it's what you're looking for this season, then simply head to the link in the description of this video for more information. Now let's start diving into these final results. And the first one that I wanna get started with is one that didn't do very well, the broccoli. And here we have the six hour grow light broccoli. 
And as we can see here, I mean, this is about as sad and bad as it gets. So I don't think these have any chance of surviving if we were to put these into the garden. Uh, they're so leggy and there's just like, there's no growth on them whatsoever. But that is good and useful from a learning perspective. So now let's take a look at the 12 and 18 hour broccoli. And so what we can see here, especially in the 18 hour environment, is that we are starting to see a lot more growth. However, they're still looking really quite leggy and long. So what that's telling me is that I think there might actually be a bit of a problem with my grow lights. And because of that, I'm actually starting today a grow light experiment right behind me here where I'm testing out five different grow lights. So subscribe to stay tuned for when that experiment launches. But now let's grab the last set of broccoli, which is the 24 hour broccoli. And as we can see here, these ones have actually done like surprisingly well. Also looking a little bit leggy, a little bit longer than what I would want to be seeing from my broccoli, but they're not looking as stressed or as ragged as I thought that they would be, as, as I thought that they would be given that they were getting literally zero hours of downtime. Now let's move on to our second vegetable in this experiment, the arugula. Okay, so starting with the six hour environment, as we can see here, somewhat similar to the broccoli, definitely not very much growth that we're seeing on these plants whatsoever. And they are also looking a little bit leggy. And I do attribute that to the fact that they're only getting six hours of light per day, more so than the grow light not being super strong. So you're gonna see with the peppers and the tomatoes, they're actually growing really, really well. Let's now take a look at the 12 hour arugula. We're definitely looking at a lot more growth on these plants. The leaves are bigger more along the lines of what we would expect to be seeing from an arugula plant that's 30 days in. And I know I say arugula funny, you can make fun of me in the comments about it, it's all good. So this is not bad, but I actually found it really interesting to see how well they were growing in the 18 hour environment. So let's now take a look at those and what we can see here. Now this is just like really, really good, solid arugula growth. This is exactly where we would want to see these plants, especially for starting them indoors. As we can see compared to even just the 12 hours, significantly more growth. But how does it compare to the 24 hours of light? Let's take a look at those. And this is where it starts getting really interesting. So what we can see here is that Mm, I wouldn't really even say they've put on that much more growth, but the bigger issue and concern for me is that a lot of these leaves are looking curled. And when leaves are curling, that is a sign of stress in some form. It could be overwatering, it could be underwatering, it could be too much light. And that's what I suspect is happening in this environment. And from my perspective, that's just not a natural environment for something to be exposed to light for 24 hours per day. So it makes sense that we're seeing a little bit of stress here. Now let's move on to our third vegetable, which are of course our tomatoes. And so getting started with our six hour environment, the story really kind of just continues along. I mean, look at how leggy these are falling over to the sides here. This is what we've seen in both environments so far when it comes to the six hour environment. Not much growth and looking very leggy. So six hours, not cutting it once again. Let's move on to our 12 hour environment and my goodness, whoo, those are beautiful. I mean, those are phenomenal tomato seedlings. 30 days in and we already have plants looking like this indoors underneath the grow light. And I'm not surprised by this whatsoever because this is the exact setup that I've utilized for starting my tomatoes in all the past seasons. And I've been getting tons and tons of tomatoes off of the plants. So 12 hours of light for tomatoes looking really good. But remember 18 hours has been performing really well for both the broccoli and the arugula. Let's take a look now and see how that did for our tomatoes. And what we can see here, really, really nice solid growth as well. To be honest, I don't really see any difference in terms of overall growth, size, or any indicators of stress compared to the 12 hour environment. So I would say in this instance, you know, not a significant difference between 12 hours and 18 hours. But of course, let's now take a look at the 24 hour environment. And this, once again, continues the same kind of trajectory of what we're seeing. Not quite as much growth. And like this one plant back here has gone fully yellow. 
and on a number of the other leaves, I'm starting to see way more signs of stress. Not a complete shocker. It's not getting any rest, any downtime whatsoever. So as far as I'm concerned, nothing to be gained in terms of additional growth and the introduction of a lot of stress which is not what we want for our seedlings to be experiencing. So to wrap up this experiment, let's move on to our fourth and final crop, the peppers. All right, and first up are our six hour peppers. And to be honest, these babies aren't looking too bad. They're not looking very leggy, which is a bit of a surprise and change from the other six hour environments, but nothing you know absolutely incredible either by any stretch. But let's see how they compare to the 12 hour environment. And what we can see here is that we're looking at bigger, larger, healthier, happier plants. Obviously from a side-by-side -side perspective, they're a little bit taller, they put out more leaves, but on top of that, the leaves are looking more green, more lush. That's probably just because they're getting exposed to a little bit more light than the six hour environment. Now again, does that continue along into the 18 hour environment? Let's take a look. And what we can see here is honestly like a very similar scenario to the tomatoes in that they look almost identical between the 12 hour environment and the 18 hour environment. Maybe just a little bit more growth in the 18 hour environment. But now let's go to our final environment, 24 hours. What happened there with our peppers? So interesting, hey, once again, it's almost like you go up, things grow really, really well, 12 to 18 hours. And then when we get to 24 hours, starts to go back down, just a little bit too much light. So the last question to answer is how many hours will I be running my grow lights for this season? And honestly, I love following natural patterns. So I'm gonna go with 16 hours of light per day, eight hours of darkness per night. Very similar to us as humans, gives us a nice little bit of time to rest and recover before going into the next phase of growth. So that's all for today's video. I hope this has been valuable that you've learned something new from this. I know that I have, which is why I love experimenting so much. Can't wait to catch you on the next video. Subscribe to the channel here so you can see the next experiment videos coming up and I'll see you then.